Hi there, Libra, and welcome back to Star Lord is Tarot. This is your tarot forecast for the week of August the 9th through to the 15th. I went ahead, shuffle the cards, laid them all out. Let's see what's going on for Libra. First up, we have the Eight of Pentacles in the upright, followed then by the Seven of Pentacles upright. Next, we have Major Arcana, the uh, Wheel of Fortune. Followed then by the King of Swords in the upright. And lastly, the Eight of Swords reversed. Okay. Your overall energy is the Six of Pentacles. Or sorry, the Eight of Pentacles in the upright position. This is all about the... This is what I call the Worker Bee card. This is where we're working uh, hard and tirelessly towards something that will bring uh, like hopefully bring uh, some rewards this is where we're sort of nose to the grindstone it does make sense I guess because um, you know uh, as far as Jupiter goes it will be moving in on into um, Pisces which is your house of of work daily work and so forth so maybe a lot of Libras right now are gearing up to get in positions of of uh, jobs that they will be able to do on a regular basis working hard towards their goals that kind of thing sort of more focused on that so that could be going on for some of you others of you perhaps you're just really working hard towards um you know success in your career in your jobs or it could be even at home or in a relationship you building blocks you're just building and building and building towards and you're really putting in a, putting in the effort and at the beginning of the week, the Seven of Pentacles shows up that you are reevaluating something. Maybe some of you have put a lot of work into something and now you're pausing to, you know, see if it's worth it, which I always suggest is very healthy to reevaluate situations, whether they be relationships, whether it be, you know, your financial investments, your career, what have you. It's always, always good to reevaluate things from time to time. Something that perhaps has been in your life seven months, seven years, or something like that, you might really want to take a close look at it just to make sure, especially if you're working this hard, just to make sure that everything's on track and, you know, continuing to bear fruit. Next card you have is the beautiful Wheel of Fortune in the upright position. This is nice. This is where you could be, the tide could be turning for you, um, Libra. It could be that maybe you get out of your own way and now, you know, the, the sky's the limit. I love the Wheel of Fortune. Sometimes this can represent just a lucky break where we happen to, you know, turn a corner and we meet the love of our life. Sometimes this could be we buy a lottery ticket, we end up winning some money. It can also represent that we go online and find our you know dream home or our dream job is posting there it's just like a moment a snapshot where we're just like yes and you, as soon as you jump on that it can change it can change everything a beautiful experience could happen at the beginning of the week for you maybe at a time when you are reevaluating things maybe this is your career and you're saying well maybe there's something better out here and then the next day you go online and you're like boom whoa this is for me could be a situation like that for some of you. Moving on towards the weekend, we have the King of Swords here in the upright position. It is a court card, could be representing a person. If it's representing a person, this is air energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, sun, moon, arising, male or female. This is you coming up in your own reading in the upright position, showing the best of you. Probably a lucky break comes up <laughs> and uh, Libra has a lot to say about it. The King of Swords in the upright position. <clears throat> Like, it can be you, but it could also represent someone else. Not necessarily an air sign, although it could. It could be, this could be about um, an arbitrator. It could be about a, a surgeon. It could be about a, a uh, military person, a police officer, a legal, like a, a lawyer or somebody like that that you're talking to. This could be someone speaking on your behalf, maybe making things happen. <laughs> This could be you, though, maybe speaking up and just speaking your truth and just, you know, sort of laying it on the line and saying, this is what I want to do. This is what I choose to do. Maybe after a time of reevaluation, you get a lucky break and you decide to move in a different direction. This could just be you speaking up and just <coughs> basically stating, you know, this is what I want to do. 
And uh, the King of Swords does not, he's a great orator, he, he does not mince words. This person leaves, he's mental, cerebral, leaves emotion completely out of it. Very logical thinking person, which air signs can tend to be. That's what can make them good speakers when their mind is clear. And it looks like your mind will be clear on something. Maybe it's about this uh, nice lucky break that comes your way. And... The last card you have is the Eight of Swords in the reverse position. Well, I think whatever comes your way here this week, uh, Libra, I think it is going to help make you feel like you're, you're out of the rat race. You're out of the trap. Because the Eight of Swords in the upright can point to feeling trapped in a situation. Maybe that's why you've been working so hard towards a situation. Maybe in a relationship you felt like you were working really hard and now you just felt trapped in it. But perhaps there's a release here due to a lucky break and it helps take you out of that feeling of being trapped. This is about being released. Sometimes it can be released from prison, released from a trapped feeling, released from... Um, you know, a, a boring job or a difficult relationship or what have you. This is just about your sort of exit point. You get to, you know, uh, you get to escape <laughs> because of a lucky break. Interesting reading. You'll have to leave a comment in the comment section below if this resonated for you and how so. But that is your reading, Libra. I really hope it helped you. If it did, please feel free to like, share, and subscribe. And I will see you next week. Bye-bye.